What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Sean and this is Trucking Live with Sean. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips for new truck drivers on backing up a semi. Now I know you're just right out of school. It doesn't matter if you're right out of school or if you've been driving for a minute. Backing a 18 wheeler can be not be an easy task. It takes time but it takes patience. But in this video right here, I'm going to show you some tips that may help you out. Number one. Use your mirrors, drivers. It may sound so stupid. I know, it, it's, you ever heard the, the, the saying, kiss, keep it simple, stupid? It's that simple. Use your mirrors. You'll be surprised at how many drivers I train will start backing up and they're not looking at their mirrors and accidents happen. Always, always use your mirrors. Before backing up, make sure that you can see clearly out those mirrors. Make sure that they're not fuzzy. Make sure they're not getting bugs all over them. Make sure that you can see they're not fogged up. Use your mirrors. That's number one. Number two, you want to take it slow. Backing up does not need to be done really fast. It doesn't need to be done with the radio on saying, we ain't going to take it. No, we ain't going to take it. We don't need it. You don't want me backing up with no soundtrack. Like Dave Spell said in one of his videos, you don't, <laughs> you don't want me backing up with a big old soundtrack with the bumpers beeping, ba 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 ba. Turn the radio down. Throw your windows down if you can. If it ain't raining, roll it down so you can hear. In case somebody's like, hey, watch out. You want to make sure that you've got all your senses to back up. Throw your windows down, keep your radio off, and, and take it slow. Another mistake that I see that new drivers run into is they'll see another driver will pull up next to them, and they're waiting like this. And they're, they're waiting for you. They understand you're a new driver. But you feel inside that you're like, oh, God, he's rushing me. Oh, he's rushing me. Oh, he's looking at me funny. Oh, he's going to make fun of me. Oh, he's getting mad. Who cares if he's getting mad? Who cares if he's upset? This is about you and your load. You're backing up slowly. If it takes you time, it takes time. Now, if you want to stop and let him go on, that that's fair. But if he's sitting there waiting, nine times out of ten, he understands he's just waiting on you. You may feel frustration, but it's your own anxiety that's making you get upset about backing. Push the anxiety aside. Focus where there's nobody else. Don't worry about these people. Don't worry about your task at hand. That's getting it into the dock. Okay. You also, next tip is you want to plan. You want to plan. How are you going to get in this dock? What is your plan? Are you not going to just pull it in there? Is it going to be a 90? Is it going to be a 45? What is it going to be? Um, what is it going to take to get in there? So know your plan and get your setup. Now, a good setup, and you learn these in CDL school, but a good setup is going to help you get in. If it's the wrong setup, turn back around, go back around, set up again. You've got to set up three or four times to get the right setup. A bad setup is going to cause you not to make it in. All right. Another tip, you want to make sure that you use your horn and flashers. May, may, letting people know that you're backing up and your flashers. I see a lot of accidents happen at truck stops, shipping receivers, where people are not using the horn, they're not using their flashers, and, and the other drivers don't know exactly what they're doing. They may think it's got it crazy. Let them know you're backing up. Beep, 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 beep. Got your flashers on, you're taking it slow. Okay, another tip is you want to y'all heard this before get out and look go get out and look i say get out and look new drivers i mean no old driver new drivers before you start backing up you need to make sure is there a pole right here is there a, a, a block on the ground is there you know a, a, a fire hydrant that you could hit know your surroundings so that way you can make a better educated decision also be aware of those surroundings this is another tip here be aware that there's people maybe in a golf cart there's pedestrians walking around dogs all kinds of different things are going on it's very busy here at the shipper and the receiver and a truck stop so make sure you use these tips to succeed now if you're new to my channel i need you to make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification because i put out videos every day trying to help drivers succeed in trucking if you did get some value from that make sure you hit that like button also if you go to the link down below i have a new way if you can support this channel if you would like to support it in any way also i have a membership that i'm offering for driver coaching i just started this yesterday 
uh, and say, you'll get my personal phone number to be able to call me and I will help you in situations. I'm only gonna be able to take so many members. I am already a driver trainer out here at Rosedale uh, and I do train drivers, but with this exclusive membership, if you join this membership, you'll have access to my phone number and I will talk to you. You can call me any time of the day. If I'm asleep, phone turned off. I'm doing my 30 or four hour break at home, my phone's turned off. But most of the time I'm out here running, so y'all have access to call me, send me a text message, and I'll try to help you find somewhere to park, try to find somewhere to go, whatever I can do to help you succeed, because that's what this this what this uh is all about. Okay, block that guy right there. Okay, yeah, he's not coming in. Also, if you're looking for a good job, call the number right here below, 706-226-1003. They do hire the new drivers right out of school. Uh, they reimburse your tuition up to $4,000. I'm also a trainer here, so I might be the one training you. The last four people I train come off this YouTube channel, so make sure you call the number below. If you're an experienced driver and you're looking for a job that's got 90% drop and hook, uh, sometimes it's 80%, it ain't always 90, but majority is drop and hook. They get you home every week, and the miles are good. You always get 25 to 3,200 miles. You take a strict 34, you're going to get 3,000 miles a week. But you can do your 34 at home, and that's what matters. I'm, I was tired of doing 34s out here on the road. I, when I worked for Heartland Express, I didn't want to do that. So I'm so glad I finally found Rosedale Transport. I started with them right out of school. I left, and I'm glad I came back because they are by far the, one of the best companies out there. There's a lot of good companies out there, but this is a good one because they treat you with respect. So if you want to work for a company that treats you with respect, call the number below. Hope to see you in my next video. Hey, send a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you got any video ideas, let me know in the comments. If you got any footage you want to share to me, send it to my email. My email is also in the link below. This is Trucking Life with Sean. Let's get it.